Hey everybody, Danny Rubino here with Windows Central and we're taking a look here at Windows 10 Mobile Build 10572 which just went out to the Fast Ring members today and it is a big improvement. Now in order to get this you do need to roll back to Windows Phone 8.1 if that bothers you, it will be fixed in the next update, which hopefully will be coming in the next few days or so. But uh, this is a rather big update. There are a lot of new features, and I gotta say, I'm gonna focus primarily on one thing right now, that's performance. This feels way different than the last few builds. And I know we've talked about, is this good enough for a daily driver yet before on previous releases? Uh, it's still a little too early to say, but this really feels like a much more polished OS. Uh, I almost dare say this feels like it's approaching RTM status. It's just a lot quicker the way everything loads on here. Obviously I'm on a Lumia 1520. Uh, things just go really, really well. It feels fast, it's fluid. Uh, it feels like a new phone to be honest. It's just a ridiculous experience. Now, in terms of features, there's quite a few. I'm going to do one right now, including send a text from the PC. I just clicked it, sending a text to Mark. That should go from the PC through Cortana to the internet to my phone, which will then text Mark. And there you go, there is a text message, actually a notification for Cortana saying that it was sent. Uh, very cool thing there. Uh, that's part of this build. Of course, you need to be on the Insider build for the PC, as well as the version here for Windows 10 Mobile. But it seems to be working, and it works like magic. It's very cool. So far, it does look like you need Cortana for it to work. So we don't know if that's going to change later on. It may or may not, but for now, you do. Uh, here, you can see... Hey Mark, texting for my PC, so that totally works. Uh, there's also some improvements in general to Skype messaging. Uh, in messaging, you can also, I believe, attach a GIF. I don't have that set up here, but we'll test that later. Uh, you can see I can also switch to my Skype stuff. Uh, Cortana improvements there as well, so she can now work with Uber. I haven't set that up yet, but that will be uh, supposedly under the settings here. Yeah, so it tells me I need to do it on the PCN. I'll give that a shot later. But with this, I should be able to actually just say, hey Cortana, get me an Uber to the airport and it'll set that up for me. Other features in this, which I haven't tried yet, but you can do uh, on maps, you can basically download the maps now to your storage card. Over here under offline maps, as you can see, I can download my maps and now storage location, change where they are stored. I do have an SD card here, so I can actually do that. So that's a brand new feature for a lot of you people with lower end phones, you're gonna definitely appreciate that. You saw how that animation worked right there. That's definitely new as well. There's also some improvements to the photo apps. Uh, basically, when you go into a photo and you right click, you get a better context menu popping up here with more information. There should be some other options there as well. Uh, definitely really nice. Speaking of the camera, uh, seems fast. Uh, you can see how quickly that launched right there and takes the photo. Uh, I, one thing I'm having an issue on is when I go to review the photo, it's not showing up for review. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but it could be a temporary bug. Uh, I'll have to play around. But overall, actually, the camera feels even much better than the previous release. So very excited about that as well. We'll be playing around with this for the next few days. We've got a lot of stuff on our table this week. but. Uh, if you've been thinking about doing this build, I say it's worth it. This feels dramatically different, even from last week's release. I'm very happy with the way things are coming here. A uh, couple more builds, and I think Microsoft actually has this. This actually feels really, really nice, folks. So there we go. Head to Windows Central for more information. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. Take care, Bonnie.